Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. This is a very on mass code this side, and today we will be solving another P of DT. And today's problem is number of parts in a matrix with k coins. So let us see what is the problem. So the problem says that you have been given a matrix and an integer k, right? As given here, you are standing at top left corner, top left. Which is zero comma zero, and you have to move to bottom right, bottom right, bottom right. Which is bottom is the last row, and the column is right is the last column. So it will be n minus one, n minus one, right? Now you have to determine the number of parts such that sum of that path. Equals to equals to k. That is, if you are traveling one, two, three, then five, then one, then your path sum is one plus two, three, three plus three, six, six plus five, eleven, eleven plus one, twelve. Okay, so you see the twelve is the path of the this path is the sum of this path, and twelve is equals to the k. So the answer will be incremented by one. So you have to determine the number of paths that its sum is equals to equals to k. All right. The constraints are given as that each cell is greater than or equal to zero, and you can from a cell you can only move right or down. Okay, I hope I'm clear with that. So if you're standing at two, the only possible uh, operations you can do is either go to three or either go to four. These are your possible operations, right? So let us now let us now see what are the number of paths here. Okay, let's see. Let's explore the whole, whole of the paths. So, exploring all all of the paths, it is one, two, three, five, one mentioned here. It is one, two, six, five, one mentioned here. One, two, six, two, one mentioned here. One, four, six, two, one, six, one, four, six, five, one. Another one is one, four, six, two, one. Another one is one, four, three, two, one. Right, and I'm, these are the only paths I can see in the matrix. If you are able to see another mat, uh, another path, please comment it down below for my knowledge also. Now, if I take the sum of all of the paths, so I see this path and this path is giving the required sum of twelve, right? So my answer is two in this case. All right. So this is my approach to for today. That is exploring all paths. Exploring all parts. So when I, whenever we I do exploring all, what I what what do I use? I use recursion. And whenever recursion has um, overlapping subcases, the solution changes to dynamic programming. Right? I think we are on the same page right now. So let us see the code. The code would work. Very easily. What is the code? So I will assume a function. It will be taking my array, my DP array, and my current row and column with k, the required k. So at any point, if my k is less than zero, in that case, return zero because it is not possible to achieve uh, k less than zero because the constraint was that each cell is greater than or equal to zero, right? So I think you get that. Uh, 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 another another way is if My row is equals to equals to n minus one, and my call is equals to equals to n minus one. That is, I am at the bottom right. So in that case, if my k is equals to equals to zero, then return one. That I have achieved what I had to uh, I had to achieve. Else, return zero. Right. Now, the sub cases. The sub cases are right or down. Right. Right will only occur if I'm standing at a if I'm standing at five. I cannot go right. Right, this is not possible because I will get out of the matrix. So right will only occur when the call plus one is less than n. Similarly for down, if I'm standing here, it is not possible. So down will only occur if row plus one is less than n. So if call plus one is less than n, then Right equals to solve for 
my array, my DP array, my row, my column plus one, and my K minus array of row call because I'm adding this current cell to the path. So yeah, I will have to add this sum also. Similarly for down, it will be row plus one and it will be same here, right? Because we are just going down. And at last, return right plus down, right? Now it is a DP problem. So what we will do, if you see three things are changing in the recurrent row, column and K. So my DP will consist of three variables, row, column and K. So if it is not equals to minus one somewhere, then return that value only and at returning change it, right? So I think you are able to visualize that problems also. I will write the code also. So let's see how the code works. So the code would work something like this. So I will be returning. I will make a function solve, send n k array and my initial row and column that is 0 comma 0 there. Right. Now my solve is returning something long, 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 long solve in 10 in k and vector of vector int and arr int row int call. Right. This is a function. So our first base case was that if my k is less than 0 in that case return 0 otherwise if my row is equals to equals to n minus 1 and my call is equals to equals to n minus 1 and if my k is equals to equals to array of row call that is the sum I want is on, is on that index then return 1 else return 0 right these two are clear okay now my long long int right is equals to 0 right now and similar for down equals to 0 now if my column plus 1 is less than n in that case only I can go right so my right will become solve for n k array row call plus one right and similarly if my row is also not the last row then only i can go down so let me zoom it down for you yeah down equals to solve for n k array row row plus one sorry row plus one and call See these are the operations right now and at last return right plus down. This is the whole code. We will try to integrate DP into it. Let's see if it is working fine. Okay, sorry. It will be K minus ARR of that current uh, cell we are standing at. I forgot to subtract it. AR row code. This is the operation required to inculcate the sum of that cell in the current path, right? So it is working fine. Let's try to submit it. It will give a TLE most probably. I have not tested that, but it should give a TLE. It is giving a TLE math means we have to inculcate DP here. So for DP, I told you that I will be taking row, column and K in the consideration. So you can see the consider uh, values of N and K can go up till 100. So instead of making a vector, let's take int dp of size 101 101 and 101 right and here fill it with fill it with minus one so for int i equals to zero i less than equals to n i plus plus similarly for int j equals to zero j less than equals to n j plus plus this is what travels in the matrix of i and j and for int l equals to zero L is less than equals to K, L plus plus, fill them with minus one, that is D, P, I, J, L equals to minus one, right? We have prepared the DP matrix. Now here, after this, if conditions, 
if dp of row call with that k is not equals to minus 1 in that case return dp of row with that column at that k value right and here with a, uh, before returning the answer it uh, update your dp array row call k right it should work fine let's try to combine and run it now in the meantime please subscribe to my channel let's try to submit also because your subscription means a lot to me and thus i can request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the like button as you can see i have completed a 57 days current streak and that's all from my side for today we will meet tomorrow again and till then please keep coding and be safe